Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to WatchYouWant.com. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at a significant reference from Omega. The 2000s were transformative years for the brand. If the 90s represented recovery from the doldrums of the 80s for Omega, the 2000s moved the company from survival mode to thrive mode. And the company's high highs came as a result of innovations in the sports watch sector. As ever, a leader in dive watch technology and style, Omega looked to its past for this Seamaster Planet Ocean 600 meter chronograph, coaxial with all of the modern watchmaking refinements for which Omega has been renowned in recent years. The watch also pays deference to the original 1957 Omega Seamaster Professional, the first of the line, and while this color scheme might whisper great pumpkin with its orange, white, and black accents, the bottom line is it's also true to history. This watch right here, though true to history, 45.5 millimeters in diameter is thoroughly contemporary in size and engineering. Now let's just talk about the basic features of the Planet Ocean series. Now the series debuted in 2005 and the long-running Seamaster Professional and prior Aquaterra lines served different purposes than the Planet Oceans. The Seamaster Professionals were the latest evolutions of the long-running Seamaster Professional line, but they were associated with the Bond franchise. They had more modest sizes. Because the look was well-known and established, Omega didn't want to change them, but they weren't really compatible with bigger cases, larger, bolder forms that were becoming popular in the market. And the Aquaterras, well, they were designed to sort of take the Omega Seamaster out of the surf and onto the turf, a more formal water-resistant watch. Again, they couldn't quite go where the professionals could go in terms of depth, rough use, uh, rough and ready sports watch image and sports watch applications. So there was room for a third line within the Omega Seamaster Pantheon, and that's where the Planet Oceans came in. As of 2005, Omega began to innovate with these heritage-themed cases, larger cases, classic dial styles to recall their all-time greats, but again, the bigger, bolder size was the order of the day. And at 45 and a half millimeters, this one gives you all the legibility and functionality that you expect in a classical dive tool watch. And now here it is on my wrist. Now my wrist is six and a third inches, 16 centimeters across. For those of us using the metric system, bonjour. The bottom line is the Seamaster Planet Ocean 600 meter chronograph in this size wears quite well. It's big. But at the same time, you can get away with that with a utility watch. You can see clearly that between the helium release valve, the unidirectional rotating dive bezel, the chronograph functions, the clearly loomed indexes and broad arrow hands, this watch is designed to be seen, and not just for style's sake. You could absolutely dive with this watch, and it meets all of the standards set forth by ISO 6425, which is the international standardization that actually defines what a dive watch is. So this is the real deal right here. The watch goes deeper than that, though. But um bump I do love a good pun. What Omega does with this Planet Ocean is they provide a tremendous amount of horological content for the money. Now, if you want a helium release valve, regardless of whether you're going to use it with Rolex, you have to spring for a sea dweller or a deep sea sea dweller. Omega includes it here, and they include it on the professional line. But what you're also getting is a tremendous amount of watchmaking innovation inside the case. This is the latest iteration, as of the time this watch was built, of Omega's coaxial chronograph movement. Now, the basic movement, this is known as a 3313 caliber with a 52-hour power reserve. It's descended from the Frédéric Piguet movements that are used in Blancpain, in Vacheron Constantin, that have been used in Audemars Piguet Royal Oak chronographs over the years. It's a high horology movement, very finely designed, very thin, auto-winding, really top of the line, but what Omega does is they improve it in two significant respects. The first is power reserve. They increase the power reserve from roughly 40, 42 hours on the Blancpain Frédéric Piguet movement to 52 hours on the Planet Ocean's 3313 caliber, and that's significantly above the industry average of 40, 42 hours. So you have a robust power reserve. Take this watch off your wrist, it's not going to die immediately, and you don't have to wind it constantly. Now, the coaxial movement's been a signature of Omega since the late 1990s when they first debuted the technology, developed by the renowned independent watchmaker Dr. George Daniels, actually an Englishman. Omega was the only watchmaker that had the courage to take up the technology and actually commercialize it. And by the mid to late 2000s, you were even beginning to see that technology in aggressive sports watches. Now, it's been around since 1999, so we can now say that virtually all of the original promise of the coaxial 
in terms of stability over time and improved performance in the long term has been borne out by practical experience and empirical observation of watch enthusiasts. The chronograph caliber itself preserves everything that's essential about the great Piguet chronograph movements. Vertical clutch and column wheel, that means that when it starts and stops, it's seamless and smooth. There's no jumping of the hand. It doesn't stagger when you stop it. It doesn't reset imperfectly when you reset it. And because of the column wheel, which actually selects the stop, start, reset functions, the watch is incredibly crisp. The watch is incredibly precise. It doesn't have that mushy pusher and Play-Doh feel that you get with a cam or a coulisse type of chronograph actuator. So there's a premium feel to this watch. It's almost like a rifle bolt. Now, the bezel itself, as you can hear, is quite loud with clearly defined detents. You can actually time two separate intervals between the chronograph and the ability to set the index aligned with the broad arrow hand. So you can have a 60 minute timer going and you can also have a chronograph that's going at the same time. It's convenient, again, because the bezel is the ultimate chronograph. It's quick, it's easy, and at the same time, it's a notable safety feature. The chronograph itself is an upscale feature and one that'll pay dividends within and without the ocean. And the bottom line is this is an attractive color scheme without any of the historical associations. If I just told you we're going with black silver, we're going with orange, and we're going with a nice even application of all of the above, that would be a pretty attractive watch. Again, I think red is a little bit played out. Black, silver, red, black, white, red. The orange gives this watch character and it gives it presence and it definitely makes it a standout. I know that when I talk to my friends who are not you know, explicitly watch enthusiasts and I show them the Planet Ocean reference, this model in particular is the one that always draws the compliments. Not questions about how much it costs or how much you have to make to get it, but where they can find it, where they can see it, where they can try it. And this watch intrigues in that way. This is the best of what Omega is and the best of what Omega has been. It pointed the way forward for the company into the 2000s. Omega has really defined itself as a hip modern manufacturer that offers a lot for the money. And I can't think of anything that's more emblematic of that than this Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean 600 meter coaxial chronograph. 45.5 millimeters. It's available from watchyouwant.com with a 100% complete Omega factory set, including a second accessory Omega factory strap. Check it out on our website, watchyouwant.com, in high resolution images. I'm confident that if you're looking for an alternative to the traditional Rolex Daytona, but you still like to play in the water, you know what? I don't care how deep you go. 600 meters is what you got. Have at it with the Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean 600 meter chronograph from watchyouwant.com.